about other of the template which is provided by a visual studio 2022 here is a visual studio 2022 i already installed in my in my laptop here is some of the option is available in visual studio 2022 is one of the option is clone repository if you want to be clone a repository from the azure Depot, gitlab github you can clone it another option if you want to be open the project from your folder you can open the project from folder you can select this option here if you want to be open the folder then you can select this option if you want to be create a new template of new project you can click it here i will click it here there is a sum of the option available of the filter of the template if you want to be get c sharp template then you can get all the c sharp template will be available at here right now we will create asp donor core web app and we see more view model controller just double click it here you can decide the name of what you want to be named what you want to be set the name next here you can select the version of uh, donut core if you have only latest version you can select it here if you want to be select other version you can select other version <clears throat> here is an authentication type later we will discuss about how we can figure it how we will use it this is a configuration of https if you want to be configured https in your project then you check it otherwise uncheck just click in create this is a project it is created we are installing some of the library you can see here it is getting from the nuket packages from internet and installing the project now warning is going gone <clears throat> okay this is a project of folder of the structure of asp.net core mvc model if you want this is a connected service if you want to connect any of the web services wcf soap services you connected it here this is a dependency folder if you want to be add or install new libraries from the Docker package or other package you can store it here this is a property folder there is defining the launch file if you want to be changed the launch file according to your project just you change it otherwise you need to be selected by default just going on this is a www root folder here we will define the some static file like css file js file or other kind of the library we will define it here and paste it here you can see the folder here is a css file js file some library of the bootstrap jquery or validation we are using it here it is creating automatically from the visual studio and will create a asp.net mvc project here is a controller controller is we will define some of the behind logic of the view we will define every logic in behind in the controller here is a model we will define the database model it here here is the view all the view will be defined it here here is app setting json file if we need to be use some static things like database connection other keys of the value login fix login will define it here here is a json file this is a program file in this program file uh, all build function will be defined it here later we will discuss in other of the tutorial thank you